This prayer is a supernatural prayer. And God moves on the back of this prayer. You are surrounded by all kinds of attack, all kinds of enemies, all kinds of warfare, all kinds of destruction, but God surrounds you whilst you are surrounded. We'll start Psalm 91 verses one. It says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Now, Christianity is not saying you're better than anyone, but through your belief, hear me on this, through your belief, your reality shifts. So when Jesus was moving on the earth, the differentiating factor was not whether Jesus was God. Listen to me on this truth. Jesus was God over everything whilst he walked the earth, except unbelieving people. Hear me. He could speak to the storm and it would stop. He could walk on the water. He could come to a dead person and raise them to life. Right, But he was always God to the elements. But the people who refused to believe could not take from him. But anybody, irrespective of their religious upbringing, irrespective of their birthrights and their DNA and their lineage, anybody, an unbelieving Gentile, a leper, a woman with the issue of blood, every single person disqualified under the law but had belief in him was qualified to bring heaven into their reality. See, so he is God and he's always God. But because he made you with free will, he cannot override your decision. So he asks of us to simply believe. Right? So Psalm 91 is not about how good we are. Psalm 91 is not about uh, how, how smart you are, how clever you are. It is simply about seeing a truth that God wants you to see of what it is to believe in Him as your protector. Believe in Him as your provider. Other people cannot speak for your faith. I can point you to Jesus. I can teach you. And your pastor is essential in your walk with the Lord, not according to our ability, but according to God's design. We are here with the great responsibility of leading you in the word of God, but you have to own what God has given you. Now, the thing is, what God has given you sounds like a big responsibility. Because right now, for some of you, when I said you have to own the portion God has given you, you immediately thought, I have to be a good Christian. I have to have a perfect walk with the Lord. I have to learn the Bible off by heart. When I said to you, you have to own your portion, for most of you, that sounds like you now need to step it up in your activities of religion. But look at it in the context. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. In Him, I will trust, okay? He is my refuge, he is my fortress, he is my God in his ability, in his work, in his authority, I put my full trust. What do you see that you can lean into to help you escape the troubles that you face? So God doesn't want you running to things, substances and stuff. He wants you running to Him because in Him, He is the only one who can provide you with proper refuge. He is the only one that can even say, even if you've messed up, even if it's your mistake, He says, listen, I wanna be your redeemer. 